All right. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go. Let me know if uh, things get a little shaky. I got my chat up so I can see. So next quest is a pretty. Oh, okay. I don't even have my old save file, so that's good enough reason as any to start playing again. It's a <clears throat> fairly chill uh, platformer that's like, I don't know, a little bit physics platformery. Uh, yes, I guess I'd describe it that way. <clears throat> play as uh, Nyx, and you fly around, and you solve a lot of puzzles, and can pick up objects. It's, I f if I remember correctly, it's kind of like playing the uh, wizard in Trine, but not quite. I don't really care about this uh, opening necessarily. Mostly because I can't find myself caring about Icarus himself. Chris died to a fucked up apocalypse, a sun flare, solar flare. <clears throat> oh yeah, I remember now. <clears throat> this game is just about fucking the whole world being obliterated somehow. And then she decides to explore it. Get a reason as any. It's interesting how in the opening of the game she has a uh, blonde hair, or she has a uh, dark hair. Alright, so you can fly pretty pretty high. You can do like one, two, five. You have five jumps, and then you start flapping down. Very, very floaty in this game. Which is generally something I would not really consider a strength. Uh, I would say it's probably one of this game's drawbacks is that it's very, very floaty. But it's very nice. The music's really good and relaxing. I also don't think I need my mouse right now. I can put it inside that curse. Oh, I forgot that I could glide. Alright. You don't get a lot- You don't get a lot of time gliding. You have like a- in the top left there's like a very small meter. How long I can glide. Blue fires are checkpoints. I probably don't need those hearts if I don't actually need a full heal. Yeah, I don't think I do. No, fuck. <laughs> so apparently if I had escaped to try to go to the options, it just tries to guilt trip me out of playing or stopping playing the game, so... That's kind of a bummer. I kind of want to adjust the volume a little bit more. But whatever. Oh, okay, hey, I just noticed that with my... Uh... With my flaps? The little heart in the top left, every jump I get, just uh, expends one little feather. It's 
a kind of cute uh, UI design. actually a reason to be collecting these hearts unless I'm like actually in danger. I'm kind of getting the feeling that this game did not uh, pick up the changes that I made to the audio. That's probably an instant death. Uh oh. I do have the physics platforming ability of knocking shit over. I can do this. I can do it. even lift stuff up vaguely while I'm uh, standing on it. It's kind of interesting. Oh, I see. The uh, the little sun cursor. Uh, the little suns around it kind of determine my strength for being able to move stuff. It'll run out eventually. funny how the first level is literally just showing you like every possible use for uh, this new ability. Just trying to put me through the uh, ringer of tutorial here. I'm gonna actually, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna abandon Icarus here for a second. 
Hopefully it doesn't actually stop my save file because that will fuck up my uh, my progress here. Yeah, it's okay. So the reason everything got so loud is because it set my music volume back to ten. Uh, I had it at three or four for a while, so that would explain why it got loud as fuck. Sorry about that. I'm bringing that back. Uh. Yeah, uh, Nick's Quest in general, it has a lot of really lengthy levels, um, it's kind of interesting that they, like, ins instead of breaking it up into, like, a, a bunch of shorter levels, it just went for these, like, really long, uh, like, seven to ten minute levels a lot of the time. There aren't a lot of levels in this game, uh, but they're all fairly long. Uh, I really like this game, actually. It gets kind of, like, weirdly difficult later on in ways that maybe aren't the most entertaining, but they, I don't know, it's, I, I like it. I sometimes find it kind of novel whenever games are just uh, hard because they're a little bit janky and you're kind of working against the game itself to, uh, to progress. Um, for instance, I love Fire Striker, which is the very definition of a game like that. Fantastic. I fucked up this pot. So my magic ability here... Oh, there we go. My magic ability here can apparently lift up everything in the world except for these urns. Interesting. Everything's just so, like, floaty and lazy. This doll just kind of very casually topples over. Uh, I get the feeling the game set my volume back to 10 when I was, uh, not playing it. Or when I was out of the, uh, mini I'm pretty sure that it's constantly just doing this repeatedly. I might have to find another way to, to make myself louder. I'll just do it on the stream. Since there's no option menu in uh, OBS, I mean in the game, I have to actually leave the level to do that. I will set my mic boost up. Uh, let me know if I'm too loud now. In the meantime, we'll just uh, keep going. Fucking throws every block that I need off a damn ledge. Whoa! That would have been bad. So, uh, as far as I know, every level has, um. Shit. Every level has one of these, uh, golden objects. And uh, if you collect all of them, you unlock the secret final level, which is Arcadia. And it is uh, more difficult in probably also ways that are like uh, unnecessary for a game like this, but um, I don't know, shrug. They're not, they're usually not super hard to collect. They're, um, hidden in some side routes and stuff, but they're... Nothing about this game is, like, too difficult outside of, like, occasional weird level design, uh... that kind of fights against the controls. That's probably the, the worst you'll see in this game, in terms of difficulty. And then, and then Arcadia, which, like I said, is just odd, just weirdly difficult. God oh, damn it. Can I... Oh, I can lift this up over. A little platform there to take a break because I'm tired. Right. Oh my god. I killed myself with the block?! Oh my god. 
And it won't let me jump whenever I'm loading in. That's interesting. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That set me back a while. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot that that's a thing that can happen in this game. Is just accidentally, uh... Accidentally crushing yourself with blocks. Uh, at least I have the treasure still. Probably? Probably. I'm certain I still have the treasure. Okay, yeah. So that's fine. I don't mind too much. I, uh, there is a an achievement for speedrunning this game, um, but it's a, you know, it, I think, I, I don't remember if it's in every single level has a goal, or if it's, uh, just complete, you know, complete the whole game in under this amount of time, but, uh, it, it does have speedrun achievements, and they're not, like, not the best thing in the world. But they also, like, they weren't, like, brutal. Like, it's not like they're, like, fucking, you know, cast out, uh, perfect, like, frame-perfect dev times or anything. They're just goals where if you even vaguely know what you're doing, you're fine. Wow. Thanks for the tip. Shit, god damn it. I wish that every single one of those I could just shoot like really high up in the air. I think it'd be pretty funny. There are some that go fairly high, but I'd love to just rock it off into the distance. Uh. The thing about having five jumps, it sounds really cool conceptually, but uh, all the extra jumps just don't really give you lots of height. So it's like your first one is like, 75% of your extra jump height, and then it's like 10% for the next one, and then after that you're like, getting severe diminishing returns. I was afraid I was gonna drop that on myself again. That would have been bad. Probably. Yeah, like I... I have to like genuinely like be really, I have to be careful whenever I pull it over my head like that. Cause now I know I can, I can just die at any time. Also there's a uh, I remember I gotta be careful because when you are sliding something past those sand traps and it has to you know block the sand to keep it going, that's fucked up. That's a fucked up thing to do. Um. If I'm sliding too fast and I'm too close to the front of the block, I can hit myself on the sand that's like in front of me while I'm sliding. Which is always annoying. Pluck fireballs out of the air, and that's how you kill stuff. That's how you actually. There's a lot of puzzles that are gonna revolve around us just picking up fireballs. Uh, I feel like actually the the fireball grabbing is probably one of the more interesting uh, 
the more interesting uh, aspects of this game, particularly the most interesting aspects of the uh, physics system, the the grab and go, as the developers call it. No one calls it that. I'm lying to you. There's gonna be a f oh shit! I almost fucking hit myself with that. Uh, looks like there's something up there. I would, I would suspect. Yep, the gold treasure is up there. Uh, how do I get up there? Alright, it is this way. There we go. Got up one way. So yeah, I just gotta keep climbing up here. Wow, that bear they measured that one out. That one barely lasts. Down we go. Which way is technically the correct way to go? Alright, they seem to have found. No, oh, what the fuck? These are aggressive ass birds! I didn't remember them getting actually aggressive. Yeah, uh. Feff says at least the uh, loud as hell music is actually good, and yeah, I mean, it's really good. It's one of the reasons I actually really like this game is just that its soundtrack is very soothing and nice. And when it picks up, it's like a... Yes, I know that I can do that, you told me already. It's a, it's a really... Oh, what the fuck, come on. But, like, the, uh... Music is really good action music without being like, oh god, I can't grab stuff while I'm. Whew. Forgot that there's this like really fucked up window whenever you die where you uh, can't jump, you can't interact with anything, and it really sucks. I'm gonna push this under here. I think there's a heart in here. I think there's always just hearts. Oh, neat. What can I do with this? I wonder if I can just stack these up really high. Let's try. Oh god, I'm gonna kill myself! Off to space I go! Oh shit, what do you know? <laughs> Alright. I was kind of just joking. There's fall damage in this game, are you serious? actually use these to build a uh, slight little elevator here. Oh, come on. There we go. So I actually believe that these fire shooters can only shoot another one uh, if all of them have shot. If all of them in a set have shot, at least. Shoo. 
God, I'm not outrunning the- I'm not outrunning the fireball. I'm like very slightly ahead of it, but it's closing in. Alright, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. Accidentally accidentally dying to like dropping a rock on your head or you can actually if I if I'm holding a fireball and I like walk into it, like Oh, I apparently needed that thing. I might be screwed here. That just fell into the nothingness and I don't think I can get it back. Oh, okay, there it is down there. Yeah, like, it's super common to just, like, actually drop things on your head. And th those fireballs that I carry, if I'm holding it currently and I walk into it, I'll take damage from it. If I drag it into my body, I will take damage. This is, you know, kind of unnecessary and weird. It's fine. I want a fireball. Can I? Nah. Well, let me move the camera down there to grab something. Only danger is myself. Oh fuck, come on. Being harangued by birds over here. I like how so far the only enemy I've actually encountered that's like a true enemy are just these like really weird like naked shadow chickens. That's the a full extent of my uh the bestiary in this game. I could be wrong though. I don't really remember if there's uh, other enemies later. I mean, I you know, one would hope, but I actually don't feel like there are at least many other enemies. I'm pretty sure it's Bird Town forever. Turn those off. Oh shit. Wait, what? Uh, don't tell me that I just got myself stuck here. I can't pick these fucking things up. Oh god. Uh... Yep, alright. I don't really know of like a instant- I'm just gonna abandon Icarus and hope to god that I don't need to have completed a level to continue. I want to say that every save point that you get to is a uh, like checkpoint, but you know, who knows? Who honestly knows? Not me, I don't know. Oh, fuck me. That sucks. That totally sucks. That is garbage. Alright, so uh, we're back to uh, the beginning of this, like, fucking, what was it, like, ten minute stage? Like... This is a lot of time lost. It's okay though. I, if I if I go fast, you know, I'm gonna speed run. This is you're gonna see what it's like to speed run this game now. Uh, you get hit by some stuff and you go really slow. 
It's to make up time later though, so it's fine. Then like this became a clueless speedrun, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. I took fall damage on that thing that I was already standing on. Like, I'm pretty sure the actual like gold idol things I picked up, I'm pretty sure I still I still have all those. So that's a bonus. Uh, I can't confirm though. Not, I mean I can't confirm yet, I'll, I'll have to know soon. Meantime, I can go fast here. I have to get everything again. Whatever. Oops, it's not even. down. I think the other one was the golden apple, which is uh, a little bit further ahead. Um, over here was hearts. I'm gonna borrow a uh, fireball before I proceed though, because... Oh, I literally can't. It just disperses there. That's neat. Because I'm low on health, and I know that these birds uh, are jerks. Back to, okay, I was back to full health, but don't you fret, I already lost it, because that bird's a piece of shit. Shitty damn bird. That's fine. I'm still doing great. As much as I love this music, I really wish that it would stop drowning me out. I hate having to shout over it here. We're all quiet again. Just get me a golden apple and then. And we're fairly caught up. Oh boy. There we go. Okay. I gotta fly it up now. To space! The uh, fireballs tend to have really weird collision detection on some of these walls, and I, while trying to put off a uh, one of these boulder blocks, these things here, crumble blocks, 
Humble Crumble Bumble. Crumble Blocks is my uh, goblin name in Final Fantasy XIV. See, that could be canon because I'm pretty sure OX is the is for the female goblins, and IX are for the male goblins. Greyflots, for instance, female goblin. That's why her name ends in OX. I know things about Final Fantasy XIV, and now you do too. Now you know lots of things about Final Fantasy XIV. Ask me Final Fantasy XIV questions. Don't do that. This is a uh, this is a stream for Nick's quest. Please take your Final Fantasy XIV questions somewhere else. Thank you very much. Anything else over here? No, I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, someone says for Valerie Hellas says it's pretty silly uh, to just draw out, drag. Yeah, like I can just like lazily like drag this around. Just this fireball. Just it's pretty fun. Oh, I almost killed myself. That would have been horrible. <laughs> oh, goodness. Actual greatest enemy is sneezing. Uh, I think we're almost back to where we were. Yes, that is correct. I, after all this time, have almost made it back to where I had died. That's a long level. Let's not uh, lose our, our little progress this next time here. I don't need that. I have full health. Alright, I think it's like right ahead here. Honestly, I like, I super wonder if there's uh, a button to go back to last checkpoint that I don't know about. Because <clears throat> this game doesn't really have, at least while you're playing, doesn't really have like a useful config screen. All it says is, hey, you want to abandon Icarus? Which, yeah, I kind of do. Like, that guy's pointless. I don't have any attachment to him plot-wise right now. Like, he's done nothing for me. I don't know why I should care about Icarus right now. I really hope I didn't just do that thing again to myself. Okay. I really gotta stop doing that though. I almost blocked myself off again there. Oh, looks like we got a boss fight. Oh my god, there's an actual boss! I completely forgot about... Wait, what? I can't... Okay. I have to dodge the shadow fire. I never learned how to pick up shadow fire. I should have known that. The tutorial never taught me, hey! Also, you can grab black fireballs. I can actually only grab the red ones. Red uh, is known as the color of fire. However, it is not the only color that fire can be. Sometimes fire is blue. Sometimes fire is white. And sometimes fire is black. Uh, Blackfire also made an appearance in uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, uh, where Hiei had a black dragon flame, and this is much like Yu Yu Hakusho, this game. It's actually probably identical, I'm pretty sure that they got the inspiration uh, from Togashi's works. Don't listen to me, please. Gravy, fucking let it go. How many heads does this fucking thing have? Is it like a Hydra or something? 
It's some kind of fucking Hydra. Several heads. Is it? They only had three heads, or maybe two. Maybe two and one of them was resilient? Or... I don't know. Let's just say, for, for safety, uh, it's to say it was three heads. Makes the most sense to me. There's no way to turn off anti-aliasing in this game. I mean, to turn on anti-aliasing in this game. There's no way. Not possible. Can't do it. Here we are! We made it to Olympia! Which I think, I guess, was our goal. Yep. That's only been the objective of the whole game. Presumably we're gonna learn how to use our powers more here, or something. I don't even... I can't do anything with that. Oh, I can do something with this, though... Oh, never mind, I can just fucking... I don't even have to kill these my- okay, that one I do. No. Now there's no going back. Yeah, so this is my favorite. These are fireballs that I can press a button and just get a fireball. That's ideal, honestly. I'm gonna cheat with this just a sec. Was that a circle button that I need? I think it is. To proceed through Olympus, so... Oh. Uh... I guess I need this one, though. What? Oh, okay. Make sure I don't hit my own damn self. There we go. Okay. What is up here? You should probably check. Ow! What the fuck? I didn't see that thing. Oh, so this is the actual block I need. I just threw it away. Just fucking threw it in the garbage. Can I? Is that a. What? Hello? Oh, here we go. Is all this is? This is a fucking health graveyard? There's not even anything in there. There was nothing in that pot. This is wasting my time. Oh, never mind. I got a crystal bone. Got the shoulder of Pilops. 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 Kinda of fucked up to keep a bone in a, uh pot like that and earn. I'd say that's a uh, pretty earnest behavior. Earnest. Earn. I guess you really earned us a shoulder in life. That's no way to earn a shoulder in life, they say. Really have to shoulder the blame here. I, uh, I'm really, you know, I, I, I earn for something more. Oh god, help.
Uh, personally, I feel like the biggest reason that objects don't feel like they have weight in this game is because everything is just super, super floaty in, like, not a satisfying way. Um, all these objects, like, the, just the physics is poor. It reminds me a lot of trying, like I said, um, when you're playing as the, the magician. Except, in that game, it's it's cool because you can actually just draw whatever platforms you want to fuck with, which is, is you know, that's neat. Uh... I, I appreciate that feature. Here we go. The thing is, like, when you have a feature like that and it's not incorpor like it's not implemented super well, like in this case here, you have to hope that like other aspects of the game are enjoyable enough to make up for it. Uh, in Trine, my answer would be yes, because in Trine you have three different players who all have different abilities. And it is a puzzle game, and I guess I still have to manually open this. That's fantastic. And, uh... Like, it's really cool. It's it's sort of unique, a little bit like Lost Vikings-ish. Not this. This, uh, doesn't really have... The gameplay carrying, uh... Falls like crazy. Alright. Uh... How do I just do this? Oh, no! No, I want up here. Fuck me. I swear to God, if there was a treasure, I'm going to be so pissed. So this, I feel like it, this makes up with it mostly with its uh, pretty chill atmosphere and really good music. That's kind of my biggest draw of this game. It's kind of cute also, like Nyx is, is cute and stuff, but then the graphics are all like that kind of like bloomy, like, I don't know, pillow shading. Kind of thing. Uh, light sources are very odd with how they interact with objects. Kinda, I actually kind of wish that these were uh, voice acted, even if it was just. Yum yum dip yum no. Yep. 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 So I gotta stop, I gotta stop Helios from infesting the planet with fucked up shadow chicken birds. Shadow chickens. They're already birds, that already made sense. I can skip this dialogue. Uh, can I go this way? Dad? Can I go this way? Dad? Go whatever way I want. I believe it was uh, Fleetwood Mac who told me that you could go your own way. They were talking directly to me in that song. Oh no, it's a boss fight! He doesn't have arms! And he doesn't want to fight me, he's scared of me. That's fine. The armless satyr does not want to fight. Didn't knock the whole pillar up, pillar, pillar off like I wanted to. <laughs> I'm just like kind of alarmed and taken back at uh, that was. I thought that was gonna be a boss fight and uh, proved to me it wasn't really. Is that a cog? Is that a no? It's probably a bracelet. Oh, it's a belt. A belt of Hippolyte. I don't have any fireballs around here. How am I gonna fight these chicken birds? What do I even do here? Oh, okay. Sorry, I, I know that I said what do I even do here. Of course the answer is the same thing I do everywhere else. It got- it tricked me that time, though. I didn't know I fell for it. 
I fell for the idea that maybe I'd be doing something new. Oh, I don't know why I didn't think to do this. This this is the solution to the puzzle, this right here. I was like, hey, maybe if I fly up onto the thing, it'll be fine. No, that's not what I'm supposed to do. Get some help. So it's kind of funny, the last uh, level taught me how to uh, love. No, the last level taught me how to uh, pick up fireballs, and now this level's... <laughs> God, excuse me. This level's making me sneeze a bunch, apparently. Uh, it just wants me to learn how to survive without fireballs. In a post-fireball world. That's a that's me. That's a statue of me. That's me. I'm the weird, like, lion person. And I ain't lying! No, I am. I actually am completely fibbing to you. I apologize. I want this fireball. I'm just gonna take it with me. Let's not be too hasty! Can't run too far. Really? What do I even do with this fucking thing, then? There's something up there that I can blow up? Maybe? Let's try this again. I was thinking, okay. I can't make it back up there, so... Ah, I just shot myself because I am a dumb ass. Of the primary reason number one I'm shooting myself. I don't- what? Oh. I'm not even supposed to- What a dummy. <laughs> fucking calm down. Let me get fire to kill you with first. Alright. One hit KO. Aim for the head, it dies in one shot. He was mad as hell. Aeolia. I like to put that on sandwiches sometimes. Like a like a spicy aeolia. New mechanic. Wind jets. So uh, a long time ago, um, I say a long time, maybe like a year, two years ago, uh, whenever Guild Wars 2 came out, um, they had a, what I assume, I don't know if it was a placeholder or if they just thought that this was good enough. Uh, when the game came out, the sound effect for uh, ice, like if something was like blowing ice, uh, had ice breath or something, the sound effect was basically like someone going, into their microphone and they just like consider that sufficient and so there were like a lot of things you'd fight in the game that would just go <sighs> all really condescendingly impressed with you uh yeah Literally what just- oh. I should have actually read what he said. Or what they said. They said light the damn flame. And I was not listening. Can I take that fire again? Yeah, I can. Alright, I got a super fireball. What do I do with this? I mean, I already knew what to Will this flame never go out? It's too bad, because I can't do anything with it now. 
Wait, maybe I can kind of squeeze through. Yeah! Alright, I'm holding on to my fire. I probably am not supposed to be able to. Oh, I, yep, I didn't need to do that at all. Probably safe to uh, keep that flame way ahead of me so I don't hurt myself. You know I have to break these pots all the time because there's one pot in the game that had a fucking femur in it. So now I have to check every single one, make sure that nobody's- no it wasn't even a femur! Well, I mean it was a femur, like, graphically, but they told me it was a shoulder. I got a folder. Oh, yeah, wow, look at that. I got the Anakithera. There's a reason I check every pot. Turn. Apparently can't uh, hold on to the little magma-y things, those little spicy, those spicy hot rods. I don't think I can uh, grab those. I love that the, uh, the sound effect for those, uh, little, uh, spicy hot rods, uh, they sound like someone in a cartoon showing off their fancy moves. I'm going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Oh god, did I- was I supposed to bring a fireball with me this whole time? It was forever ago, oh my god. Oh, there we go, okay. That was fine. Whoa, this just floats. Look at that. I can't even touch this one. It even has a light. Huh. That's kind of neat. It's like a proper light source. In, uh, in Guild Wars 2, uh, I don't know why I'm talking about Guild Wars 2 a lot. This is completely coincidence. I promise you I don't play this game that much. Uh, in Guild Wars 2 there was, a uh, kind of a neat effect. Every weapon that had, like, a spell effect on it, or every piece of equipment, it was actual, it was an actual light source. And it was nice, uh, it was the first time that I had seen that in like an MMO. I don't know, I'm sure it's probably, I'm certain it's not like totally unique, but... Oh, I'm dead! I don't know how to solve this puzzle because I can't hold on to these blocks. Also, I'm, uh, new to puzzle games, and I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's solve this tricky puzzle this time. Yeah. All right. That was very difficult. So the uh, the wind jets actually give you more jumps, which is very cool. Uh, this sucks though. I'm just gonna go this way. How about that? Oh yeah, it wanted me to. No, oh, don't crush me again. Jesus. Uh, yeah, there were some more jumps, which is neat. So I can kind of like float here and... There we go, all my jumps. I didn't get all of them. Give me more. Yeah! Alright. Excellent. Can I float 
bit higher. Ah, okay. Come back! I need your fire. like so obvious a lot of the time whenever there's something around too it's like there's a secret over there I know this because is the primary reason I know this stop blowing on me Jesus. come on Crud fuck. Are you serious? There we go. I kinda wish that the winged sandals A had a visual effect and B had a mechanical effect. I don't think that they do though. Whoa! I'm gonna go into this fucking thing's mouth in a second. Let's not be too hasty. I'm gonna go right up into this thing's mouth. Here we go. Is that Hercules? Is this fucking Hercules' face? From Disney's Hercules? Hero to hero. Down his throat I go. It's a little fucked up. Can I go back? No? Alright. Sounds good to me. I can't see anything else. New mechanic. There's fog, which makes it hard to see. That's a good difficulty right there. I like that one. Just oh, it's an enemy. Is this Pandora's box? Is this Aeoli's box? in trouble okay looks like no I was gonna say I thought this was this was a villain and I just freed to make the world even more fucked up yes please do I get an extra jump can I jump six times now Oh, can I draw? Is this Okami now? Alright, here I go. Yep, there we go. Draw in the winds. Look, it's working! Wow! I don't... Do I have just more glide time? I don't... I don't know what I was just given. I don't think I was given the power to create wind. Also, why is there just a million enemies here? Please tell me what you gave me. I didn't get like an extra double jump. I know that for sh damn certain. I had to be more certain, so I added damn in there. Maybe, okay, so maybe I haven't been given... Oh, I can just modify them. Really? Okay. That's... nice. Whatever. Uh, alright, in that case, let's draw... Yeah! Well, that's a long bit of wind. Here, hold on. 
I know what I want to do here. Yeah. Let's go flat, flat. Is there anything over here? No! And I'm gonna die! I'm gonna fucking- never mind. Yeah, I can't even go that far. I appreciate this. I forgot that this was a feature entirely, so it's... It's pretty okay. This is when it really starts to give you more freedom with movement and stuff, even though it's, you know, very much, uh... kind of obvious what you're supposed to be doing with it. Oh, gliding in the wind stream just kind of sends you the direction that it's blowing, like, perfectly. That's kind of neat. I didn't know that. I'm gonna send this stream uh, way high up there. There we go. Anything else? No. There's this thing, though. Can't do anything with it yet, though. I'm not in reach. Okay, that's where I gotta take it. Uh, take me this way. Give me a treasure. Nope, just a heart. take this thing and redirect the winds. Difficult. I love puzzle games. They're so satisfying to play. Take me higher. Like that Creed song. Was that Creed? No, that wasn't Creed. Wait, yeah, it was Creed. Right? It was like, can you take me higher? That's Creed. Of course. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know why I d denied... I don't know why I doubted that it was Creed. Yeah, of course it's Creed. I, f I fucking know Creed when I hear it. Alright. Song was great. Nope, nope. Sex. Yeah, you know, you know me. Uh, Elizabeth Ann, true Creed fan. I actually chose, uh, I changed my last name to Ann just so that I could, I could make it rhyme with true Creed fan. That's how much I love Creed, personally. The best part about that name change is that I can actually, uh, be a fan of anything, and it still works. So, that is just efficiency. I recommend y'all change your names to something similar. For efficiency. I mean, you don't have to be Elizabeth Ann true Creed fan. You can open your hearts and be literally anything you want. I'm just giving you suggestions. I'm just trying to offer to you uh, options in your life. Things that you may do. That is like a... what is that? Is that a banana peel? Is that the golden banana? Is Donkey Kong gonna be pissed at me? No, that's the claw of Nemesis, never mind. God. Please let me down. Please let me down, thank you. Ow. I should 
probably uh, clear the area for this. And yep, looks good to me. Oh, I'm gonna kill these birds because when given the option to kill the birds versus not kill the birds, I'm gonna kill the animals. That's actually that part last bit's a little speedrunning reference. Kill the animals. But actually, fuck these stupid birds. I hate them so much. They're aggressive. What's up here? There, I'm off screen. I flew into the sun. Much like Icarus, I am doomed to fall. I'm gonna kinda glide down here. Alright, there's nothing up here. Down, down here. I don't know my directions. One direction. I only know one direction! The band. Oh shit, that was a pit! I didn't know that. It did not signify to me that I would die. I'm a clown. I'm a real clown, my friends. <laughs> That's all is. Much like Icarus, you might as well be walking on the sun. Also by Creed. Yeah, that's my favorite Creed song. I'm really actually glad that holding space just autopilots me through those because having to carefully flap your way between two spikes like that is a pretty tall order. Puzzle solved! <laughs> Get the feeling I'm on the home stretch of this level. Yeah, things are collapsing, this is the home stretch. Oh, Jesus! Ah, oh, that wasn't a boss anymore! Love when games start sticking uh, bosses you fought. You just into the into the game as regular enemies, because it makes you feel like you've really come a long way. Oh, Jesus, come on! Uh... Valerie, that's not fair. This game probably has like five songs. Not... not three. I think it mixes up the music a little bit later on. Just when you thought you had heard it all, the game will shock and surprise you. The game will convince you. It has not run out of songs, but actually at that moment it will have effect. Watch out! They do what to my movements? I'm sorry. Let me just kind of... Down again. 
They difficult my movements? But help, my movement's difficult. That actually hurts me. Never mind. That's not an advantage. But I get an extra jump off of it, so you know. Who's laughing now? It's me. So at the very least, I'm pretty sure that the last like bonus level has its own music. So that's one that we can just we can tuck that one away. We can park it and set it aside because that one's not going anywhere. So that leaves uh, four more songs we have to figure out. Uh, shit, damn it! Park sucks. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Slagmite said, there's also a, uh, a hidden track by Creed. So, you know, that's that's two songs. We've got that one that's like bum 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 which I think is actually several of the songs. So there's five there's like nine. It's the same song, but they they gave it several different uh, song files for it, so that's like nine files. Oh, there you go. Bam. Uh-oh, it's gonna difficult my movement if I get too close to it. Wait, are you serious? I thought that this was blocked off because of the fucking foreground pillars. A tree? Is there foliage? There's plant life. Every single one of these damn things until I find another treasure. Straight up gives me another jump though. I, I really I don't think that those are all uh all bad. Personally I think they're rather pleasant. That's what it wants me to do, right here, kind of weed in between them. What if I just challenge it head on and, and do whatever I want, though? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Well, that's actually there's nothing useful. Oh wait, no. You know what? There might be something behind that that rock. I don't think that this game usually uses things behind, behind foreground. Ah, oh, I fucking shot myself. Okay, so there's a secret pathway. Now who's laughing? Yeah, there is! The Trident of Poseidon. Like, these really aren't that bad. I, I'm supposed to avoid them, but I... I just... I just jump. I mean, I just get an extra jump off of them, even. It doesn't even count to my other jumps. It's, like, really not a bad thing at all. They don't difficult my movement in any way. Actually, so damage boosting is apparently a very real thing in this game because uh, oh shit, I need to carry a fireball. Probably. All right, the Hydra will give me a fireball someday when it feels like it. Well, later, Hydra. Can I use the hammer and the trident to actually beat this Hydra? It just kind of sucks that I have to like sit here and fight this thing. All right, no, never mind. Cool. Oh. Okay. Got my hopes. Up. Ah, you got my hopes up. Now I'm surrounded. Help me! Bye! Bye! Too many hydras. Why does this one still want to fight me? Alright, what do you got? What do you got for me? Yep, same two attacks and then give me a fireball. Can I get a fireball? Alright, next time. Oh man, thanks. Thinking about it, I should probably... That is a jail for those goats, which I think might be a suitable place for them because they are very rude. Delinquent ass goats. Anyway, uh, I think that might be a good time to wrap up the stream for now. I've gone for a bit over an hour, hour and a half or so. Uh, thank you for joining me on Nick's quest. I'm sorry for the slow startup, but. I think it went pretty well there after that. If you donate to my Patreon at patreon.com slash palisagris, 
I'll stream once a week, at least. Actually, uh, Nate and I will stream uh, once a week. And we will have a dedicated schedule, and all this fun and more can be yours. Act now. Patreon.com slash Palisagris. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for coming to my stream, and I will uh, catch y'all another time. I feel like I'd actually like to finish this game up before too long and upload all of this to YouTube or something. So, you know, if you're not here presently and you missed all of this, well, good news for you. It's on YouTube. I mean, it's not right now. It will be on YouTube. I, I can't have it already on YouTube if I'm still streaming. Unless I was streaming to YouTube, which is something that I can do, and I should consider someday just to try it out. I think 3,000 something people are okay. Yeah, anyway. Thanks, I tried. See, look at this. This is, a, this is a song. The song of just a bunch of guys going... In the wind, it's really good music. That's the end of my stream. See y'all later.